Hey, what's up everyone? This is Pierce Vaporous bringing you a Shogun 2 total commentary battle. Let's check out my army. I have six units of bow samurai. Oh, yep, yeah, I think so. And that's one of them is my Daikyu. Nope, six units of bow samurai. One unit of hand mortars. Uh, six units of Nodachi samurai. And I believe it's uh, six units of. Yari Cavalry. Nope. Five units of Yari Cavalry and one Fire Cavalry. Anyway, um, at this, uh, in this battle I was level 3 and my opponent was a level 5. And the only reason I fought him, because I probably, I only like to fight my own levels, the reason I fought him, I fought him because I couldn't find an opponent. I mean, it was, I was looking for, eight, well, I was, well, I make my own lobbies because I can't be able to join people. And like, I just like, I was just sitting there for ages, and it was just constantly like the same people joining like level eights and whatnot. And you know, I, I just don't want to play level eights at this level. I'm level four now, but I was level three then. But um, yeah. Anyway, look at my hand water. It is absolutely tearing his army to shreds. And you'd expect someone that's a higher level going up against a lower level to at least um, like not let them uh, take your part just by using my mortars. So yeah, the uh, the cavalry fight started over here, and I'm gonna own him. Charge! My cavalry, uh, I think, is superior to his, but as you can see up there, he has more coming in. My opponent made a huge mistake by splitting up his cavalry force, and I normally have about uh, two cavalry horses on each side of my flanks to defend the flanks, but I brought all of them over here because he was charging in his cavalry force. So now my opponent is bringing up his secondary cavalry force. And he did have about five units of cavalry there, I think, and I had about I have six units, so he had pretty much about eight units altogether. <laughs> it's quite a big cavalry force, but he he done a mistake by not using them together. So yes, yeah, so let's check out what's happening still. Yeah, I'm still tearing the shit out of his army with my mortars. Hand mortars are so effective. Not only does it drop the morale of the, the enemy's army, it oh, even General drops the morale of your of your opponent. He will be sitting there thinking, "Oh my god, my army's getting torn to shred." And I've been in that situation before. But luckily for me, I don't always have to. I um I I always back off. I've always learned to back off. What's the point in doing a battle when you if they can just tear you from long range? Uh, that's going to be the main problem with um, Fall of the Samurai. Obviously everyone's going to have cannons, and those cannons are going to be a pain in the ass. I've never really played Napoleon or anything properly, so I've never really noticed uh, the bad side in the cannons on that game, but I'm sure it's insane. Anyway, I've destroyed his other cavalry force, so now that's 8 units of cavalry completely dead. So he's just made a huge mistake by actually letting me destroy his cavalry without much of a fight. Well, I, lo I lost some of my units, obviously, but I still have like a few units that are still good numbers, like 40, no 40 men, 20 something men, but the others have gotten down to about 13 and whatnot. But it doesn't bother me. I've got the cavalry superiority now. Uh, he's charging into a ca he's charging in the cavalry here. <laughs> I just I'm always looking at some like uh, everywhere. I'm a very like uh, quick micromanager. I can just pretty much watch the entire battlefield. But I do make mistakes. I'm not I'm not saying I'm the best. I do make mistakes. Everyone makes mistakes. But yes, as you can see, my opponent is still sitting here. He's letting me tear his army apart. So let's look at the consequences. This was, These are 120 men units. That's down to 78. That one's down to 103, 113, 118, and 103 to 199. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm pretty much just taking down his infantry one by one. I mean, I absolutely decimated that. That's down to 80, uh, 78 men. So it's really like just absolutely horrible to him. But um, it's it's very effective. Like I've even got his general down by four men. Uh, it it's not going to win the battle for you. I mean, I mean it's not going to take out his entire army, but it is going to help you. I mean, look at this. My opponent is just letting me absolutely batter him, and one hand mortar is going to take out like I don't know one quarter of his army without even uh, engaging my army. You know, it's it's so effective. But it, it, it does take up a retainer to use it, and it can be quite pricey. But when you play on large, uh, ultra fun, sorry, because I'm playing on ultra now because I just like bringing all my veterans. I don't really have any veterans in here, except for I think some of my cavalry. But I have got more veterans now. I've got loads of Yari cavalry veterans, which is awesome, and uh, other stuff like katana 
uh, veterans, even I think I got one bow samurai now <laughs> finally. But I'm I I I thought I'd be getting uh, bow warrior monks, but the place that I said in my first video on my new channel that I'd get them from, for some reason it changed to a uh, a mounted hero. I have no idea why. A mounted bow no a bow hero or something like that. I don't know if it was mounted. I can't remember. Uh, I mean, I don't know. But yeah, I have to go like all this all the way to this other place to get the bloody uh, the the archer. So it's really quite a pain in the ass. But um. It's not too bad, I mean, both samurai do their uh, job, as you can see, they're now going to do their job. <laughs> Just using the fire arrows running down on my men. I wonder if I still got ammo left. Do I still have ammo? No, looks like I'm out. That sucks. I need to change the colour of these guys, look at this, it's horrible. Fucking green and yellow. Who the fuck? I got purple. Purple and black, well, it's pretty much purple and silver. I uh, dark is like silver, black and one thing. It's just the light, really. Uh, <laughs> okay, so now my opponent's really charging, but his infantry's been absolutely decimated, and I'm fine with, bl uh, with fighting him now. I don't really care about his army. I've, I've already, I already feel victorious. I mean, I, I realize uh, anything can change in a, in a battle, but when your opponents just let you absolutely rain down terror on his army, I mean, look at this. It's just, <laughs> it's just death everywhere. I mean, if you're gonna let your opponent absolutely tear you to shreds then you might you're just gonna lose i mean there's no point just sitting there you need to think quickly you can either back off or you can charge charging normally ends up with you making huge mistakes because you're doing it too quickly backing off gives you time to think okay so my opponent's bringing up his main force of infantry which are nugga nugga warrior monks and they are so sexy look at these guys yeah i don't really like the blue on them though you just change that it's a horrible color <laughs> But yeah, he's trying to go for my archers. I'm fine with fighting him with my with my uh, Nodachi. Even though warrior monks are very powerful, Nodachi are also very powerful. Maybe not on defensive wise, but they can seriously own on the charge. I didn't charge mine, but I still managed to beat him somehow. I have no idea how. I guess Nodachi are just like so superior sometimes. Well, his morale is also gone because I've killed his general and his entire army. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much the battle over because my opponent just let me absolutely tear him to shreds. Um, so yeah. It's a close victory, but um, you can clearly see that I do have tons of my army left, like there's loads of my infantry, uh, my bows actually I think, and then my infantry is all around here. So yeah, my opponent, he, he made a mistake by letting me take advantage of him just sitting there. So if you play ever play this game, then try these hand mortars, they're very effective, and you can also try the uh, fire rockets when you get them, because they're also quite cool, but I don't have any yet, so... I hope you enjoyed this guys, I'm going to bring, me, I'm going to be bringing the more hand water videos because I enjoy it, and uh, so yeah, just enjoy them, bye. Hey, what's up everyone, this is Pyrrhus Repress bringing you a Shogun 2 Total Commentary Battle. The battle's already begun with a bunch of broadside firing. <laughs> nope, my opponent's just using his projectiles, and yes, I am using hand mortars again. The very sexy hand mortars. Anyway, my opponent... As you can see, is not one. He doesn't really want to come out and play. I'm getting far away as possible from his hand mortars. I mean, his uh, projectiles, because I don't want to be damaged, even though they're not very effective. So let's look at my army. Okay, so one unit of Daikyu, Daikyu samurai, five units of both samurai. Um, yeah, six units of katana samurai, some veterans. There it all. Then I've got, let's have a look, shall we? See if I got my fire, ca fire cavalry here. Yeah, is that, oh, yeah, there he is. My fire cavalry. I made him red, because he's awesome. Wham. Look at this little sets of bastard. Okay, so one unit of fire cavalry, five units of Yari cavalry, and my general. And my hand mortar, which is firing, so let's go and see what he does. Uh, I don't know what I'm firing at, so I have to wait until it comes down. Oh, here. Uh, Bam! <laughs> it is so fun to do this. But my opponent does have his own projectile, and while I'm fine with him firing at me, I don't really want to take um, much damage. That's why I keep, I'll back off every now and then, because somehow his range is quite good. I never knew he could fire so far. Look at this. These ones are only landing around here, but soon they start landing here, and it's like, what the fuck's going on? <laughs> anyway, I just... Uh, Oh, I'm reloading. Yeah, I'm firing again. <gasps> Let's see. Oh, I'm already shoot. Oh, I'm already hitting. How many times am I bloody firing? Okay. Uh, landing back here. Oh, I'm not landing there. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> oh, 
yeah, these these hand waters are so bloody effective, and I love them so much. But my opponent's projectile is landing miles in front of me, and it's fine. I mean, one of them landed right there, which is quite good. But uh, oh, hello! <laughs> what a hit! <laughs> but my, I'm fine with just taking like just absolutely wrecking my opponent's army. I mean, I've taken like quite a lot already. Look at this! Oh, dead! Oh, dead! He, but he's going to constantly back off, and I'm fine with that because I'm just going to waste all my I'm just going to waste all my ammo on him, try and take as much as I can, and he's going to try and waste all his ammo on my guy. So it's fine with me. I mean, he's going to come out at one point, or else I'm just, just going to charge him down. <laughs> Bam! Yeah, I'm fast forwarding because this bat, this uh, like fucking standoff between me and him just goes on for ages. I mean, I always move out of my spawn. I never sit back because I just find that sitting back just makes you look like a camper, and you know. I just don't see the point of it. I mean, I've been in games where I've actually, I've gone right up to their spawn. There's a river between us, and then they've called me a camper for not going any further. You're the ones that aren't even your spawn. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm, I'm now attacking his uh, thing with my mortar, but uh, the damage wasn't like the best. I mean, I took out some men, but oh well. But he's almost out of ammo. I'm out of ammo now, so the battle of warriors will soon begin. But the good thing is, he's gonna cut, like he he actually like shows off his um, hidden units because he thinks he can charge it out. But I don't care about his unit anymore. I mean, it's it's run out of ammo and it's useless now. It's not gonna be good in hand to hand. It's not gonna have like a bow all of a sudden. <laughs> it's just it's just like a little fucking unit. Did my Skype just go off? Sound like it? <laughs> yeah, I've always got Skype on. Um, if you want to. Uh, uh, talk to me on Skype, then you can send me a message on YouTube and whatnot. Oh, my opponent's... Oh, yeah, shit, shit, shit. Yeah, my opponent <laughs> brought in the cavalry charge over here, and he's bringing another one over here, and I have no idea what he's doing, because he, he's just going to get into the fight with my... as well as... Like, with my cavalry, and as well as my katana cap my katana samurai, sorry. And it's just going to end badly. I mean, you should never charge in any cavalry when they're right there, when you're... like, the rest of our army is just right there. It's going to be a loss for you. Because you're obviously not going to be able to <laughs> beat the overwhelming numbers, no matter how good your cavalry is. So yeah, you can see that my opponent's cavalry is getting torn to shreds. That's fine with me. I've brought in a little cavalry charge over here to take out some of his archers. And I think, yeah, no, that, you know, I don't think Yari is. Yeah, he's a no, it's a Yari samurai. Did I really just charge a Yari samurai? <laughs> no, I think I, I think there was an archer there, but I think I lose my cavalry, and I, I, don't, I don't really. No, I don't actually. Well, I don't really care about a cavalry unit to be honest, because. My infantry's gonna be his, but he has taken, like, he has caused me some damage with my infantry because I had to pull back my archers, so his archers are targeting my infantry. Wasn't too bothered because I can target his infantry with my archers and even the numbers out. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm really just trying to take out his uh, cavalry, uh, his archers, sorry, as much as I can. He's got no cavalry left because of the foolish charge, but um, he can still be a threat, obviously. I mean, my, my, uh, I've seen my armies just break out of nowhere, like, just suddenly start getting scared and just breaking. And it's quite stupid, if I'm honest, because this game, if you're, you're like, your army's not going to break just out of the sight of, like, one missile coming over. I mean, it's, it's we're not fucking French. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I did not mean to be, um, like, nationist or set, oh, no, I can't say sexist because it's not like the French or women. You know, to act like them. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, yeah, so bit <laughs> the battle of Adrian called bitches. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, um oh, I hope French people don't watch my video. Uh, okay, so yeah, I'm just basically I'm over here, you can see I've actually engaged his, his avatar and I killed his avatar almost. No, I do kill it and it's, it's, it, why would you leave your avatar undefended? I mean it's so stupid. I mean my avatar is always behind the back of my archers, the back of my infantry. Because his job is to stay alive. He has taken some archer damage, but he's not going to die. I mean, he'll Lord, never die as like the, the first archer here or something. Because that would just be unfair on the general. <laughs> or on the person, you know what I mean? But yeah, his entire army's just been shredded. That's what happens when you just don't play properly. So yeah, uh, I hope none of you uh, French people find me uh, like uh, horrible. <laughs> But we did kick your ass at Agincourt. <laughs> anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed this, guys. Peace. No. Fuck. Bye. <laughs> hey, what's up, everyone? It's Pyrrhus Vapris bringing you a Shogun 2 total commentary battle. 
and once again, for the third time today, <laughs> I don't know if I'll upload all these videos today, but you know, for the third time, I am using hand mortars, and it's so fun, my hat, my, um, my hip was really short, because these men were all back there, but, uh, that's one shot, and many more to come, <laughs> so let's watch the hand mortars come down on the pain of fury, I think they're gonna land here, bam, bam, That's how you clear a sinkhole. <laughs> I don't know what I just said, but yeah. <laughs> anyway, my opponent was bringing up his uh, his matchlocks. My opponent was very weird. I mean, he brought up his matchlocks even though I had cavalry right there, and he let me absolutely slaughter them so that before they could even shoot. But then he starts playing pretty well by maneuvering his cavalry quite well, and I was getting annoyed because for some reason my cavalry. Uh, I tried to put them in so they were like uh, two lines of three, but they kept going into a long line. So moving this line was quite hard okay so uh, same army really again uh, six units katana six units of archers uh, daiki archers and bow samurai and then like six units of uh, I don't know if I brought my fire cavalry no I think it's just six units of yari cavalry which is pretty sexy and yes I do have my fire, it was <laughs> fire cavalry so it's one unit of fire cavalry five units of yari cavalry my opponent's got a uh, six unit, six men, six unit, a cavalry force here. All very okay. Cat, there are okay cavalry and giant cavalry, but none of them are upgraded. Then he's got he had three units of matchlocks, but they got raped. And then he has a uh, pretty big force of no Dachi samurai. Uh, I believe that's eight units of no Dachi samurai. Two, four, 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 eight, uh, seven and a half units. <laughs> and a bottle just exploded. Well, no, it popped. <laughs> but yeah, I just took that down, that unit down by 23 men with like one volley of the unit. But it's quite sassy. I mean, I, I love using hand wanters just to piss people off. And my cat's annoying me. But oh well. Anyway, <laughs> my opponent's uh, gone for a retreat because it's a smart move. And it's fine by me. I mean, if he wants to back off, I don't care. But now he's going to start fucking around with his cavalry. And this is the bit where I get kind of annoyed by it. Because I'm trying to set up my army. But he just constantly like fucks around with his cavalry. And my cavalry, just as you can see, they're in a the long line. So they're not going to maneuver very well. So I just have to quickly get my infantry in front. My infantry are, are Katana Samurai, which won't do 100% uh, well against, uh, you know, cavalry. But they'll hold them. I do, again, have like another fail shot, taking only about like two of his men, but um, it's fine with me. I mean, I'm just trying to maneuver my fucking cavalry, but they just, because they're, so, they're all in a line, this is so horrible, so I'm, yeah, I'm just going do 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 cavalry power. So yes, now I just put my cavalry on the flank, and I'm just like, oh, well, I put them here. I just want to keep facing off against his cavalry. He's going to bring up his uh, infantry now, and I'm more than happy to fight, but he does have the numbers on his side in the uh, infantry. Fight. That's why I need to take out his cavalry. He, gave, he gives me the perfect opportunity by moving his to the flank, to the side, going more away from his army, and this is my opportunity to charge. I always take the opportunity, and you should always do it. But now I can rain down his on his... Uh, men with my archers and just do whatever damage I can and I do do quite do do uh, sorry <laughs> I do do quite good damage but my opponent makes a huge mistake by bringing his general too close and I always look for a general if there's a general there I will find it and I will kill it <laughs> the battle or this like Shogun 2 is all about keeping your morale up and if you lose your general it's gonna be the end of you so yes it's basically like playing Germania on Rome Total War but yeah, as you can see, his cavalry force has fallen apart, his general's dead, and his infantry are now going to get hammer and anvil and slaughtered. And I've even got hand mortars raining down on the battlefield. I may be hitting my own men, but I'm, out, I'm enjoying it. <laughs> but yeah, let's look at this big charge here, shall we? Bam! All fire cavalry going first, and I thought, oh, bloodstain. Bloodstain! Booyah! <laughs> okay, another charge over here. Bam! Oh, my blood. Yes! And sexy, and I know it. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay. So as you can see, my 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 opponent, he had eight units of Nodachi. Those eight units turned into no units of Nodachi thanks to my cavalry. So yes, cavalry rule, and so do hand waters. I hope you enjoyed this, guys. Bye.